Well, it's not only Black Friday, it's also National Espresso Day. And for those of you waking up early to score those Black Friday deals, you might just need that extra jolt this morning, especially with these cold temperatures. Joining me now, Frank Elias from Utica Coffee Roasting to talk espresso. Let's talk. Thanks for getting up early, first of all. Well, I thank you, Katrina. Thanks for having us here on such a cold but delightful morning. You know, I do my best. So, beginner coffee, okay? Because mm -hmm. I know my espresso, right. but for the beginners out there, what's the difference between an espresso and, say, just a percolated coffee? We get this question all the time, mm -hmm. and the espresso beans are the same beans quite often that we use okay. in your traditional percolator okay. or pour over brewer that a Mr. Coffee that we most of us have at home. So the beans are the same? For the most part, okay. yes. It's the grind, mm -hmm. a very fine grind for espresso, and it's the amount of pressure that's applied to those those beans right. that extract the oils and the flavors. All right, and the oils and the flavors create quite a different taste when you're doing espresso or even like a French press coffee. They so sure different. do. different. Um, th the filters often mm -hmm. will separate right the oils from, from the, the coffee that we drink. Okay. And in the espresso, those oils just come right through and right out in the cup of coffee. And that helps us when we're mixing with large amounts of milk sure. for, for a cappuccino yep. or a latte. And the That's espresso punches through yeah. that, that, that heavy cream, mm -hmm. that milk flavor that most of us all, often add sugar as well. Love so it. so yeah. the espresso extracts such a strong flavor that it, it, it shows through the milk. Right. And that's some of the reasons why we love the espresso. Common it's, question that people ask, right? What's the difference between the latte and the cappuccino? Right. Go for it. What is it? The amount of milk. Yep. More or less, boiling it down, making it really simple. Mm -hmm. If we were to look at a latte, yep. right? It's it's larger. If we were going to look at a cappuccino, it's smaller with a, less milk. Okay, so the latte has more milk. Correct. All right. And your traditional espresso, a single shot, a double shot, often comes in a small cup like this. And those are for the people who really, you know, just want the flavor of the espresso. Absolutely. All right, you have a lot of tools here, so we I want to kind of go over what the difference are. Like, you want to start this end? What's this? That's a percolator. Okay. And this is one of the old-fashioned types of brewing coffee. It goes on top of your stove. You put a very coarse grind yeah. in, in here, okay? A coarse, a coarse grind. Okay. Um, then that, that perks, and it perks up, and it perks over and over. And right onto the stove, right on the, not onto the stove top, but right onto the stove top. It gives you a fantastic flavor okay. um, that is very different, though, than what you might see in a stovetop espresso maker. Okay. M many of us grew up in households where our grandparents or parents would Had cook espresso and one of these on the stovetop. And even today, many people do use this on the stovetop, but it does impart a different flavor profile than what you'll see in a in percolator. A What's this? This is a French press. Uh -huh. These are sometimes the rage in many coffee shops these days. What we'll do is we'll grind coarse again, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll put the water in, coarse we'll let grind. it steep for about three minutes, and then we'll gently press down, down and, it, and it separates the grinds from the water, from the coffee, and it gives you a fantastic tasting cup and of coffee. And you want to impress anyone when they come into your house, say, they put on the French press, right? That's right, that's right. <laughs> All right, down here. And then this is a traditional electric percolator. Um, when, when you find one yep. of these and, and you've had coffee that was brewed in an electric percolator, yep. uh, you know that you really are going to enjoy that coffee. I wanted to bring it uh, to sh show and tell today right. so that we can show all the different types of brewing a coffee, but Friday being National Espresso Day, we want to celebrate the espresso and the coffee that is so good. If and you've never tried very it, small cups try of coffee. it in the tiny little cup because that is the true espresso. Thank you so much Thank for you. joining us and this thanks morning. for having us. All right. Happy Black Thank Friday you. for the rest of the day.